So I have a gajillion images to get through. All need to be resized with a funky pink border slapped around them. A gajillion! Where do I start? Oh, wouldn't it be a lifesaver? I could just make these changes to one image. Then I could automate this process by applying it to one image and then to the remaining gajillion. But I can't think of a way. Apart from using actions in Photoshop 2021. During this tutorial, you'll learn the absolute basics of creating and using Photoshop Actions. Let's get into this. Creating a Photoshop Action couldn't be easier. Simply navigate to the Actions floating palette. If you can't see it, then click on the Windows menu and choose Actions from the drop-down. Start off by creating a new set for your Actions by clicking on the Create New Set icon at the bottom of the Actions palette. Give it a name! Click on OK! Then breathe. Next, load up the image you'll need to work on. Once you're ready to start work, go back to the bottom of the Actions palette and click on the Create New Action icon. Give it a name. Choose a set. Allocate a function to it if you wish. Choose a colour, if you're a nerd. When you are good to go, click on Record. And you'll be doing just that. Recording. You should now see the red recording icon at the bottom of the Actions palette. Start making your changes to the image. Fix the image size. Add the fluffy border effect. Whatever floats your boat, mate. Am I done yet? Am I ever? Lovely. Go back to your action palette and click on the stop icon. Done. Now all of your changes have been recorded and appear beneath your action's name. You can change any of these at any point by simply double clicking on it. You can also click here to cause a dialog box to appear at any point whenever somebody runs this action. OK mate, let's take it for a spin. Now there are a number of ways in which you can run this action. The simplest one is clicking on the action in the action palette and then pressing the play button. Or if you prefer a cleaner interface, try clicking on the sub menu up here and selecting button mode. Now all of your actions appear as buttons. Now that's great! To go back to standard action view, click on the same option again. Oh fantastic! Another way of accessing your action is by using the function key that you allocated when setting it up. Uh... If you've forgotten your allocated function key, try double clicking on the action itself to bring up the actions options dialog box. Ah, uh, but how am I going to run this on my gajillion images? So simple. Go to File, Script, Image Processor, select the location of your gajillion images, select where you'd like to save the actioned image files, choose a file format and compression rate, click on Run Action and select your action set, and then your sparkly new action. Definitely sparkling. Sit back, have a coffee, do a crossword, and hey Preston Council, you're done. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to receive more. And I'll see you on the next one. It's so fluffy.